Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we've got another guitar mixing tip courtesy of Joe Barisi and this one has to do with compressing distorted or heavier guitars using an SSL channel strip or an SSL plugin. Now a lot of people don't like to compress distorted guitars at all because the distortion on the guitar acts as a natural compressor. It reduces the dynamic range, levels things out, but this is more compression for tonal difference and sort of SSL style and snap rather than for dynamic control, though we do get some dynamic control out of it. But the way the compressor is set up, whether it's on the actual desk or on a plugin, is super easy. And that is gonna be to set the release at its fastest setting all the way to the left, set the threshold at its lowest setting all the way to the right, and we control the amount of compression we're getting, the amount of gain reduction we're getting on the meters over here by just moving the ratio knob. That's actually a really easy way to set up SSL compressors in general. Fastest release, lowest threshold, play with the ratio until you get the amount of compression you want. For guitars, we're going to go anywhere between 3 to almost 10 dB of compression. We're not going to light up that 10 dB button, but these aren't very accurate meters. It could be anywhere between like 4, 8 dB, something like that. So here is the guitar part without any compression. I'll bypass the compressor section completely. Guitar by itself. <laughs> And now I'll engage the compressor and I'll move this ratio knob up until I get the amount of compression I want. Now I'll bypass it on and off as it plays with the bypass button right here in the middle of the plugin. So some of the notes kind of pop out a little bit more with the compressor bypass, so that means you are getting some dynamic control out of it. But there's also a tonal difference here. And if we do a null test on this, we'll see what that difference is. First of all, let me bypass this plugin completely. I copied the guitar track, I flipped the phase on it, and if I solo both of these up together, it should null completely. And it does because I've got the API 560, the exact same settings on both. So there's nothing different happening on the two channels. The two channels with the phase reversed, completely null. Now when I engage the SSL again, we're going to hear only the difference between these two channels, what this is actually doing. It's really low level and hard to hear, but you can hear the compressor kind of kick in and some of that low information added to the signal, which is why we have that dynamic range reduction and that thickening of the signal. This was all done with the Waves SSL E channel, which a lot of people have. This can be bought for $29 most of the time. Let's try it with a different plugin though. We're gonna to move to the Brainworks BX Console SSL 4000E and do the exact same thing. Start with the ratio all the way down and then dial it in. I'll bypass it on and off with the dynamics button down here. Subtle difference, and here it is nulled. A little bit more on the low mid side of things. You can do this with any SSL channel strip plugin you've got. It's really easy setup. Like I said, release all the way to the left, threshold all the way to the right, and dial in the compression you want with the ratio knob. Really simple, distorted guitar mixing tip, courtesy of Joe Barisi. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.